Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back to the computational chemistry tutorials. Today we are going to uh, discuss about how to model uh, a pericyclic reaction and the example we are going to take is the Diels Elder reaction. So you can see uh, a simple Diels Elder reaction in front of you. Uh, it is between uh, cyclopentadiene and uh, ethene molecule and you get a bicyclic product here. So basically this reaction happens that uh, one double bond comes here, the other one makes a bond here and this one makes a bond here. And you can see that this magenta colored portion it's uh, uh, drawn as uh, shown here. And uh, the green color is used so that you can understand how two rings have fused and at what positions to make a bicyclic system. So that's the reaction. And uh, you can see in this reaction how the reactants uh, react together. Actually, the ethene molecule and the cyclopentadiene, they uh, approach each other from one above the other. So. Uh, you can see that uh, here is the ethene and uh, the cyclopentadiene is just on top of it on a specific distance and then they can react and form such a biomolecular system. So you cannot just draw them in a linear fashion and get the product. You have to uh, think in three dimensions. We're going to draw this in Gauss view and then you can see um, how it will work. So here is the ethene molecule. I already have optimized it. You can uh, simply um, optimize your ethene molecule. You can draw and uh, just optimize it uh, as I told you in the previous videos. So then we also have cyclopentadiene. Here it is. So you can see that uh, this is cyclopentadiene. Now we are going to uh, optimize the transition state from this. So for transition state uh, we have to uh, make it proper in three dimensions so that the software can actually find the transition state very quickly. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm just copying this by pressing Control C pasting in a new file. So I have taken a new file so that I can uh, draw the transition structure. Now I'll copy the ethene molecule, the optimized one. So I'll open the optimized one, copy it and just click here so that ethene molecule is also um, on the same screen. So now I'm going to arrange them to make a proper transition structure. All right, so let's start arranging it. So I'll put down the uh, cyclopentadiene molecule here you can press control uh, sorry shift and alt together on a windows machine and then you can simply drag it um, the one fragment so now i want to move this uh, 18 fragment but if i just click and move everything moves so what i'm going to do is i press alt button on the keyboard and then if i click and uh, rotate this fragment only one fragment is uh, rotating so now I'll move on this side and try to put it on top of the cyclopentadiene. So I'll press Alt and Shift and click and drag it here. So you can see that we're almost there. So if I put it right here and then look from the side you can see that the uh, bond distance is around 2.21 and uh, for this one 2.13 that's a little less so I'll just rotate it a little bit just to make the bond distances equal it's 2.15 and uh, 2.19 that's alright 
So now you know that uh, in a transition structure, um, the bonds are not exactly as they are. So if this ethene fragment is approaching from above, what will happen to this, uh, this atom? It will move a little bit downwards and this hydrogen will also change its position. So what we are going to do is uh, just change the position of this carbon a little bit. So let's first remove these bonds. So I'll just make it none and none so that I can easily move this atom. So I'll just move it a little bit like this so that these uh, hydrogens are also deflected a bit downwards and then the same will be the case for the carbon. I'll just make it a bit straight. Now you can see that this carbon has moved a little bit downwards. I'll just make the bonds again. Single bond OK. And also these bonds, um, you can see the hydrogens, they will uh, move towards upward like, uh, like a, a flipped umbrella. So uh, as good transition structure you make um, for the Gaussian software, the quicker it will locate the transition state. So you have to make as best as you can. Otherwise, if you will make a, a rough or a bad structure, the software will take ages and it, it might not be able to locate the transition structure as well. So let's select this angle between these atoms. I'll keep the first atom fixed, the second one fixed as well. So if I move the third one a little bit, you can see that it is uh, deflecting a little bit upwards. I'll do the same for the other one as well. And uh, okay, now this one All right, and uh, this one. Okay, you can see that it looks a much better transition structure now. And if you want, you can just show, uh, sorry, I have to select the modify bond tool and then you can just make such an interaction here. Uh, just for your own ease or to understand how it's going to happen. So now this double bond uh, is going to break and make a single bond here. And uh, this double bond, this one, is going to shift here where the dotted line is. And the third double bond is going to shift here on this bond. So that's how the new bicyclic system uh, will be made. So I'll just show you the product. I have already optimized the products. So yeah, here is the product. You can see that what I'm talking about is that this pawn is going to shift here and it will look like this. So yeah, the, these dotted lines will be converted into a single bond. Uh, sorry, like this one. So this will be ethene molecule and uh, this deflected atom will be here. So that is the product. You have to separately optimize the product and the reactants as well for uh, making uh, an energy diagram. But I have already told that method in a previous video. I'm just going to optimize this transition state. So I'll go to calculate uh, Gaussian calculation setup, optimize, I'll go for optimization plus frequency, optimize to a minimum, no, nope. I'm going to optimize for a transition structure. And I'm also going to calculate the force constants at very first point. And then I'm going to choose a method for it. Uh, I'll, at the moment, I'll just go for the simplest one. So maybe HF321G is enough. 
and then I can uh, use a number processor as much as I want and uh, it's better to use a keyword name is uh, opt is equal to no eigen test that will uh, that actually helps uh, locating the transition structures quickly otherwise sometimes these calculations end up in error so I'm just going to edit and uh, save it I'll put a name save it and then close it yes so the calculation will start running now I'll just pause the video and as soon as the calculation finishes I'll resume and then we'll have a look at the uh, transition state we found all right we have uh, finished the calculation so I'm just going to load the log file and uh, here we go uh, we have uh, found the, the transition structure I believe the structure looks pretty good so how will we confirm that it's a transition structure we'll go to results vibrations and yeah we we can see that there is a an imaginary frequency and its value is also quite good so uh, the more negative the value the better your transition structure is and the sharp it is so if i animate this one i just start animation you can see that it's the perfect transition structure we were looking for so these atoms this 18 and the ones where it's going to bond they're moving towards it it means that this imaginary frequency is the correct one we are looking for it's not a, a different transition structure it's the the one i was actually searching for so you can see that uh, if you stop the animation and uh, you can also manually displace it yeah here you can you can see that uh, that is the actual vibration so it's a very good transition structure uh, we have located all right so that was about modeling uh, a pericyclic reaction or like a diels elder reaction and then you can use all these energies of this reactants to uh, construct a potential energy diagram where you can simply connect the reactants uh, with the products through this transition structure so i just searched this one and i want to show you how it will look like or how it should look like so that's a, a picture where you can see that uh, the energy profile of the steel L reaction will look somehow like this so these are two reactants it's a definitely a different reaction i just found on the internet but i want to show you that you can make your own structures like you can make cyclopentadiene plus ethene here and then put your transition structure here and then put the uh, bicyclic system here uh, according to their energies of course and then you will have your own energy profile that will look very similar to this one you are uh, you are watching here so that was all about the uh, diels elder reaction modeling and you can also uh, construct a, an IRC calculation from here if you just copy this one this structure and paste in a new file and then you go and set up an IRC calculation as I already told you in a previous uh, video and then you can definitely uh, connect this transition structure to the reactants um, and products so i have already done an irc calculation here is the irc calculation i have already done and uh, uh, yeah i i don't have the sorry i have the checkpoint file let me just there is an issue in uh, gauss view 6 that sometime it doesn't show the log files very well so yeah here in the checkpoint file you can see the correct path so that's the transition structure and uh, here are the reactants you can see that these are the two reactants and here is the product so uh, if we run it for more uh, num points then you can definitely reach to the exact product where there, there are bonds between these two atoms but we uh, just uh, used a very few points 
to plot this IRC calculation. So that's why uh, the product is not uh, complete. So that was all about finding a transition structure uh, of a Diels Elder reaction. I hope you would have got the point and you, you can follow the video to make your own reactions. So thank you very much for watching and uh, if you like the uh, if you like the video just uh, uh, click on the like and uh, if you have any questions you can post in the comment section and uh, don't forget to subscribe the channel for more updates and uh, other videos related to computational chemistry and uh, general computer problems thank you very much for watching allah hafiz